In today's video, I'm going to show you how to blur your background in OBS and let's do it right now. So basically, we're going to be using a tool. Unfortunately, it's PC only. It's called NVIDIA Broadcast. All right, it's a little tool and it requires you to be using NVIDIA RTX graphics card. So that's a little exception that you kind of have to be aware of. So basically, what you need to do is you need to go to Google. I'm going to leave a link down below because we need to download that tool. That's going to take you to NVIDIA.com or you can just type in NVIDIA Broadcast app in Google and it's going to take you to this page right here. Yeah, so you're gonna go ahead and download it and it's gonna get into your download folder just click on it install it just follow instructions make sure your obs is closed and any other application that might be running or using your camera so once you're done go ahead and open nvidia so we're just gonna go ahead and type in nvidia it's gonna show up right here and it's gonna be open like this so the first thing you need to do, you need to add your camera. So as you can see, my camera is showing is because I already added it, but basically you go here under video to this camera icon and you can have all your camera kind of like inputs show up here. And then basically this is what it's going to look like. So this is my webcam. So I just chose my webcam here. And what you need to do is basically we're going to use this feature called virtual background. All right. And we need to go where it says blur. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and toggle this little thing here. And as you can see, it's our background now is blurry. And then what we can do is we can actually go ahead and choose the strength, right? If you want to make it hundred percent blurry, you can go ahead and increase it, you know, the strength to the maximum. But in my opinion, I think you probably don't want to do too much. Again, this is going to depend on you, but personally, I like to, you know, people to have an idea of what's in my background and of course have it blurry. So as you can see, it's looking good. No problem. My microphone is still showing, which is really good. That's why I love this tool. The closest you can get to perfection, right? So once you have the results that you want, the next step, we need to take this into OBS because right now it's not in OBS as so you cannot use it to live stream and things like that. All right. Again, I feel like maybe I want to decrease a little bit because you don't want to do too much. When you do too much, it looks amateur. So we're going to go to OBS and then we have a scene right here. I'm going to go ahead under this scene. I'm going to hit the plus sign and then I'm going to add a new video capture device and then I'm going to call it broadcast. You can call it whatever you want. And then we're going to hit OK thing and then we're going to go under device and then we're going to look for camera and video broadcast. All right. It's going to show up right here and then we can go ahead and choose the resolution type we want. Again, in NVIDIA app here, you also have the option to choose the resolution you want, which in my opinion, like I have access to 4K with my webcam. But you don't want to do too like high resolutions because again, this is going to be using your graphics card. And if you're using it to stream with OBS, you don't want to be using too much of that in the app. Okay. So right now it's going to show up here and then resolution type. So we're going to go ahead and choose 1920 by 1080. And as you can see, it's looking good. FPS, we can actually keep it at 30 frames per second because that's what we're getting. Everything else we leave the way it is. And as you can see, it really looks amazing, right? The keying is good and we have a blurry background. And then if I move my hands, you can see no matter what I do, my hands are still visible, right? So that's why I like this tool really because some other tools, you know, if you move your hands or you get closer to the camera, the processing is super slow or your microphone is going to be cut off. But this one, you can see, I mean, my hair is not perfect. I can see part of my hair is kind of, you know, hmm, yeah, but it's still not bad. It's like 90% really on point. Okay. This is how you get it done, guys. But if you wanted to remove your background completely, maybe you're doing things like reaction videos and stuff like that, where you have a screen that you're sharing behind, you can actually do this with the same application. And to be able to do that, want to make sure you check out this video right here and I'll see you there, guys. Take care.